Hello and welcome to another special effects tutorial. Here we are going to learn how to animate fire in a different style. More realistic than the fire in our previous tutorial. Okay, let's start by drawing a rectangle like this. Then delete the outlines of the rectangle. Now using the selection tool and hold down control create a saw like shape from the side of the rectangle. We are doing this to create a shape that we can use for our fire animation. Now using the selection tool again we convert the teeth of the saw like shape to curves so that it becomes a wavy line. Make sure that the curves on this line are uneven. Then we select the rectangle and convert it into a symbol. Double click the rectangle to go into the symbol. Add a keyframe at around 20th frame and assign shape twin. We must have learnt how to use shape twin in our previous module. Now we'll use shape hints. Please go to modify, shape, add shape hint, control plus shift plus H. Now, We'll add four shape hints A, B, C, D, one at each corner of the rectangle on keyframe 1. Now we do the same on the last keyframe. In this case, it is on the 20th frame. Once our shape hints for keyframe 1 have matched with the shape hints for keyframe 20, they will turn green as we can see here. Now we add another shape hint E just above the B shape hint that we have added earlier on keyframe 1. On keyframe 20, we move the position of shape hint E up the line just a little under the shape hint D. So, what we are doing here is making sure that the position of the shape hint E on keyframe 1 does not match with the position of the shape hint E on keyframe 20. This gives us the effect of fire. Now try to experiment with the positions of the shape hint E in the two key frames that we have until we are satisfied with the effect. Once we are happy with the result, click on scene at the upper left of the work area or double click on the white space next to the rectangle in the work area to exit the symbol. Now insert a frame at number 20 to set the length of the animation to 20 frames. Convert this into a symbol, go into this symbol and again set the length of the animation to 20 frames by adding a frame, add a new layer here, copy the symbol on from the old layer to the new layer. To copy the symbol on keyframe 1, we can press and hold the alt key, drag the keyframe to the new layer and position it in the same place as the old layer. Now using the free transform tool. Rotate the symbol that we have copied to the new layer as seen on the screen. Also, rotate the rectangle in the old symbol so that both the symbols form a V-shape roughly. Now we go to the symbol on the new layer and mask. We can do this by right clicking on the name of the layer and selecting mask from the scroll bar. Now we can see that our animation looks something like fire we'll still need to adjust some things to make it better. Now, we need to duplicate the new symbol that we had created by right clicking on the rectangle. On the scroll bar, go down to duplicate symbol. Now that we have duplicated the symbol, we'll go in by double clicking on it and make the adjustments we need to. Here, we'll change the position of the shape hint E. If we look at the animation now, we'll see that the two sides of the fire are not symmetrical now, so they look more realistic. To see the preview of this animation in a loop, press Ctrl plus Enter. 
our fire is done let's make a duplicate of the symbol with the fire animation that we had created earlier we can use Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus Shift plus V to paste the same in the same position from where we copied it. Now, let's go to properties and in the panel named first, enter the value of 5. This means we have assigned the duplicate symbol to start playing the animation from frame 5. Now, let's go to the color in properties and select tint from the menu. Let's select an orange shade here. Now we notice that because we have changed the color and the starting frame of the symbol, the two symbols look different. Now we make another duplicate of the same symbol, move the start frame to 12 and change the color again to an even lighter orange by changing the value of the tint by using the slider as we see here. Now let's scale down this symbol to 60%. We can use Ctrl plus Alt plus S to go to scale and rotate. We scale down the copy of the symbol we had made before this. We use the free transform tool again to skew it a little so that the symbol has a slightly different shape than the others. Changing the shapes of each flame in the fire gives us a more realistic looking fire. Now let's use Ctrl plus enter to watch our animation preview. Here, we can see that the three layers of flames in the fire are moving at different timings and also have different shapes that give us a feel of realistic fire. Now let's try and experiment some more with this technique. We'll make another copy of the last edited symbol and make some changes to the color and shape of it. We are making it yellow by changing the values of the tint as we had done for the earlier copies of the first symbol. We are making another copy of the symbol and again using the free transform tool, we make it thin and short. And now, we change the color to a violet shade again using the same technique we have used earlier. We go to preview again. Here, we can see that even though we have reused the same symbol in all the flame layers, because the timing and the shapes are different, it gives a feel that the layers are completely different from each other. So, you must have realized that using this basic technique and experimenting with it, we can create different looking fire animations. We could even use gradients to give it a more different look. Once you practice this tutorial and are familiar with the technique, you can do your own experiments and come up with many different types of fire animations that will suit your requirement. Hope you found this tutorial from Aroha Media useful. Thank you.